Hi. Okay, before I begin my next project, I'm going to show you a few things that you can use to create your own hand-painted t-shirt. And in the future, once you get the techniques that I'm going to show you, you can mix and match and, and go from there and kind of test them out on your own. So some of the things that are out there, this is a stencil spray. And they come in all different colors now. This is a great tool. And um, you just spray it on your stencil or you lay your stencil down and spray over it. Um, this is uh, this is called Fashion Blast by Tulip, and this is great for making a tie dye look without the tie dye mess. And then these bottled ones, um, this is a, a white mat, and you can do so many things with these bottled ones. Some of the bottles have the points where you can just write out of them. And some, this is a nice good amount. And you can spread this out on your wax paper or whatever you use. And you can dip into it with your sponges. You can use these kind of creative sponges. I even use these things that I actually found at the hardware store. So, uh, and you can use paint brushes with it, of course. Um, and then there's this uh, fabric paint that is just like a fabric paint. That's exactly what it is. And you can use it with a brush or with a sponge brush or um, you can paint onto your rubber stamp, which I'll show you how to do at some point. Um, these smaller uh, fabric paints come in various colors, lots of colors. And with these, you can actually write directly onto the fabric. Um, or you can, once again, you can spread it out and paint, you know, use your paintbrush or, or however you want to do it. Another thing you could do is take a regular acrylic paint and mix it with a fabric medium and um, turn it into a fabric paint. And so you can, there you have the option of using all kinds of colors, like this is a metallic that I'm going to use on the first shirt that I'm actually going to make. These are puffy pens, and with these you can write, and then you heat it up, and it puffs out, and, well not that big, but it puffs out and it has a nice texture to it, like a velvety texture, and they're really pretty, and they come in lots of colors too. This is a fabric marker also, and it has more of a regular marker tip, and you can write, you can draw, say if you have a picture that you can draw in colors, because they come in lots and lots of colors. And then um, this is a fabric mate marker, and this one has that big chisel point on the end of it. Okay, and so then some of the other tools, of course, you can use are your uh, sponge foam brushes. You can use, you know, these brushes. You can, you, there's so many things you can do, and I'm going to show you a couple. And um, before even we go there, also, the one thing I wanted to show you is, you might see these in the store. And what this is, it's a stencil form. And the great thing about this is you can make your own stencil. So that's what I did with the t-shirt I'm going to make first. I actually made my own stencil. Now the way I, this is a microphone. And the way I did that was I actually found a JPEG of a microphone. And I put this under my stencil, which made it so easy to do. And then I used a light colored Sharpie marker. And I'm real good with the light colors because if you mess it up, you can always go over it with a darker color, you know, for correction. So I used a light color and I traced around the parts that I wanted to cut. And then I wound up with this after I cut it out with my X-Acto knife. And this is my microphone stencil that I'm going to use on the t-shirt I'm going to make. So there you have it. There are some great tips for different items you could use for making your own t-shirt. And uh, follow up with me and we're going to make a t-shirt.